नमस्कार वेलकम टू ऑनेस्ट एस्ट्रोलॉजी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो ऑन दिस चैनल सो फार दैट इज राहु इन द फिफ्थ एंड केतु इन द इलेवेंथ हाउस आई कॉल इट द क्रिएटिव डिससेटिस्फेक्शन यू नो द बेस्ट कोटेशन टू समराइज दिस प्लेसमेंट इज द वन बाय जी बी शॉ देर ही सेट देर आर ओनली टू ट्रेजिडीज इन लाइफ वन इज टू लूज योर हार्ट्स डिजायर एंड द अदर इज टू गेन इट सो दिस इज हाउ illusive this placement is it is the funniest combination because it has a very illusive quality about it so it is there but it is not there that's the theme of this placement for this these natives most of their lives happiness eludes them they get what they want but they don't find satisfaction and they are just not able to find the reason for it okay and i'll give you a hint it's ketu Fifth is the house of children, love affair, creativity, and stomach. So Rahu sitting here is a mixed baggage. It can make them very creative. They can make very passionate lovers. They can be very concerned parents. But it gives stomach issues. I've seen people with gallbladder issues, people with kidney stones, people with uh, stomach problems and acidity and things like that. and i have often seen uh, abortions or miscarriage especially uh, in the first child 11th is the house of finances desire fulfillment and gains now ketu here is terribly uncomfortable because ketu is a fakir ketu is a jain muni so it's nothing to do with desire fulfillment and monetary gains and although it is not as bad as a second house ketu but it is a difficult placement problem being ketu will give you what you desire but will never let you enjoy it so na- native gets what he wants but he is never fulfilled okay i know this sounds very funny but that's the way it is so every planet sitting in the 11th house has to give you something it's very auspicious to have planets in the 11th house but ketu being the planet of negation he is forced to give you but he will not give you the essence of it okay I've seen these people. You know, I want an iPhone. I want an iPhone. The day they get an iPhone, the second day they are like, "Yeah, it's just a phone." Yeah, I want a car. I want a car. The day they get a car, two days later, yeah, it's a, just a car. So they get what they want, but they are hardly ever satisfied. Okay, that's the theme of the life. Second thing, there. This is a very creative combination. Rahu in the house of creativity boosts their creativity. I've seen people who can, you know, paint and draw and write songs, and you know, they can make great designers, writers, clay modelers, website makers, and whatnot. So creativity is boosted. Another problem which I've seen is that there is at least one year break in the education. So. you know it can happen because of anything they can fail in an exam change a stream or simply want to take a break and then join the studies but it is almost always uh, one break in their education no matter how highly educated they are and usually they are good at education but there is that one year break another thing i have seen 11th house ketu makes them have very few friends particularly if shani is strong they will have very few friends very seldom they would have any permanent friends another thing which i have seen that rahu in the fifth uh, stomach and kidney issues like i have mentioned and yes i have also mentioned miscarriage particularly females with this uh, combination should be very uh, alert about their pregnancy okay because rahu damages the living signification of that then rahu in the fifth makes them very obsessive parents you know mera bachcha kahan hai types you know and whatever their child does is right i know uh, a cha parent who is so obsessed he would let his child take multiple divorces okay and always blame the other party mera bachcha theek hai so it can go to blind obsession with the child which is not good and they can end up spoiling the child particularly the first child another funny thing which i have seen is inheritance and unearned money ketu in the 11th will almost always give them unearned money they will get money from a father from a brother from a parent a relative but they would almost always get some inheritance and they would enjoy their life on someone else's money 
and the funniest and tragic part is that they get what they want but they are never satisfied and they lose attraction for whatever they get so this is the elusive way of ketu of keeping their uh, happiness at a distance the only thing that can make these people happy is some sort of a spiritual practice if the rest of the chart is supportive because they will not find happiness in material things their ketu is sitting uh one good thing is that once they realize this thing that i am not going to get uh, happiness from material things they turn towards the spirituality and their spiritual advancement is very rapid so uh, they understand easily in life that material things while i have my material needs met and of course it is necessary to have some amount of material comforts they understand the uh, limits of materialism another thing which i have seen is marital issues the aspect of ketu on the 7th house does not bode well for the marital life of the individual i have seen them struggle in the first marriage particularly the male natives i have almost always seen them struggle in the first marriage so a love marriage rahu in the fifth right they make very obsessive lovers so while they marry typically as per their choice but again 11th house ketu they get the person they want they are not able to be happy with that person particularly the male natives and a love marriage followed by a divorce is often a theme another thing which i have seen is that these people tend to lose money in share markets so they get inheritance but they have some fascination with the share market and they often make losses so ketu in the second and 11th should never ever mess with the stock market overall uh, this is a mixed baggage which does provide financial security which is an excellent thing but they are hounded by a perpetual sense of dissatisfaction and taking a path of spirituality and realizing the limit of material gains can make them advance on a spiritual path very quickly and that is the best way to handle this placement but uh, if you pursue the spiritual path that is where you find true happiness and you already uh, have enough resources so that can actually turn this combination into a good combination jay ketu dev